good nutrition and establishing great lifetime habits are the basis for a happy, healthy life. That is why today we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by family wellbeing and nutrition expert, Dr. Julie Basali. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, one of the things, one of your main messages is about sugar. Just yes. how bad is it? <laughs> well, that's a million dollar question at the moment, isn't it? I think it's really important to note that sugar as a nutrient is not actually bad. I mean, carrots, for example, have fructose, which is sugar. But the problem today is, of course, the volume of sugar and the huge amount of added sugar that we have to obviously packaged foods. That's right. Are we talking about the highly processed white sugar? Well, yes, when it comes to added sugar, but of course, sugar is sugar, you know, and one of the big misconceptions that I see with the mums that I work with in particular is that, you know, like your body doesn't decide, oh, I've got this raw organic coconut sugar. <laughs> I'm going to process that differently to just your standard brown sugar. No, nah, it's all the same. Oh, really? Oh, it is. that's not ideal, is it? I know. <laughs> so what are some of the healthier alternatives then to sugar? To sugar. I mean, obviously you want to reduce your sugar down, especially any of the, the packaged products. But I actually think one of the things is not focusing on what you can't have, but what you can have. And really boosting your healthy fats, for example, is actually going to take all the focus off sugar. So what sort of healthy fats are we talking? Anything across the board that's um, what we call your known healthy fats, so avocado, fish, mm. nuts, etc. Well, that's all very well and good, but that avocado is not going to give me that beautiful sweet kick that I really want from that <laughs> delicious biscuit full of all the sugar. Um, it's, not. Does, it's not good, is it? No. <laughs> does it affect our sleep, though? It does. So sugar affects sleep and vice versa. A lack of sleep also affects our body's ability to process sugar. So how does that work with sugar? You shouldn't have it at night or, or does it process it differently at night? So, I mean, I see this with infants because I do a lot of work with infants and, you know, high amounts of sugar really affects the gut, even fructose. So it can actually cause them to wake more at night. And then, of course, that's going to affect their ability to feed more during the day. And that's also going to affect their mother's ability to do anything because they'll have lack of sleep. Pretty um, much. What does happen when we have not enough sleep. Yeah, so one night of sleep deprivation, and if you think about life as a mum, you're looking at quite a few more years than, of sleep more deprivation. More than one night, shall we say, just quietly, more than one night. Yeah, I mean, I've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old, and um, yeah, the amount of full night sleep in the last four years is pretty, pretty minimal. But one night of sleep deprivation actually increases your insulin resistance, which affects your body's ability to process sugar in the first place. So you're craving sugar, and then you're also not able to process that as well. Oh, and that's the thing about kids as well. It's not just the little ones that keep you awake. When they hit those teenage years again, you're going to be lying awake wondering where they are as well. Please don't but tell me that. It goes on <laughs> and on. So can you give me... Just to finish with, top five tips from you yeah. for living a healthier life. Yeah. So number one, I mean, there's always a big focus on nutrients. And I always think, like, look at food and ask yourself, how much goodness am I actually getting from that? So that's the first one. Really boost your healthy fats. Obviously, try and drop down your added sugar in anything. Green leafy vegetables, I know we know it, but we all need to be told it. And really prioritise sleep. I know it sounds like a catch-22 situation when you're a mum, but you need it, you deserve it, and get some help with that. I don't think it's just mums. I think everybody needs to make sure that they get the sleep that they, they, they need to function fully because it makes us much nicer to be around. <laughs> or everybody. Thank you yeah. so much, Julie. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure.